All right, you are welcome again. We are still on elementary algebra. We are treating trigonometric equations. Trigonometric equations. So let's see the question we have for today. We have solved the equation cos 2a is equal to cos x. You know, some people say, ah, we are only solving an uh, example. This is one of the exercises, all right? So, if you master, if you can uh, learn the examples, the exercise is very simple, okay? So, we decide to pick some exercise and then couple with the examples, all right? Good, let's go. There's uh, The exercise that we picked is uh, cos 2x is equal to cos x. How are we going to solve this? This is, a, this is an equation. How are we going to solve this? Please pay attention. We also have treated something called trigonometric identities, where we deal with um, formulas on trigonometry. Okay? Now, we talked about uh, trigonometric identities some formulas there all right now there's one formula i will refer you to that is a uh, multiple angle multiple angle okay now let's go what does this formula say now this formula it says cos 2a is equal to cos square x minus sine square x cos 2a sorry let's use cos x in that place we use cos a now in this place we are talking about x so we use x okay now let me come again cos 2x is equal to cos square x minus sine square x and then we say that cos 2x is still the same as 2 cos square x minus 1. More also, cos 2x is still equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. Yes, this is the formula. We're going to pick one of them to solve what we to solve the problem we are having. Okay? Now let's go. Uh, which of them are we going to pick? Now, let's pick this last one. The one that says 1 minus 2 sine square x. I think this is going to give us the solution to our problem. Okay? Now, let's go. Uh, we discovered that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. So, in the place of cos 2x, we replace it with what? 1 minus 2 sine square x. Alright? Good. Let's go. We will then have 1 minus 2 sine square x is equal to cos x is equal to cos x yes you can also choose the second formula to cos 2 cos square x minus 1 and then you solve you still arrive at the same thing all right you can choose any of them you can choose the second you can choose the word you can choose the third one, then it will still give you the same thing. Okay? Now, choose the second one and solve it. Then you still arrive at the same thing. Okay? Now, let's go. But what I just choose this one so that you will think more logical. Okay? Now, let's go. We have 1 minus sine square x equal to cos x. Now, you discover that sine square x is the same as 1 minus cos square x. Okay, now so therefore we replace sine square x with what one minus cos square x. Now in the re in the place we have one minus two, you put bracket one minus cos square x. You close the bracket equal to cos square sorry cos x. Okay, now let's go. We have one. We have minus two times one. We give you minus two. That is, we are opening the bracket now. Now we have minus 2 times minus cos square x, which will give you plus 2 cos square x. Then it's equal to cos x. 
Now here we are having minus 1 plus 2 cos square x is equal to cos x. Now this expression that we have now, if you choose the second uh, formula which is cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1. If you pick it, you will jump 3 steps and go direct to this expression that we have here now. You get it minus 1 plus 2 cos square x is equal to cos x. Okay? That is it. Alright, that is much for you. Now let's go. We have 2 cos square x. Let's take cos x to this side. Now it will be minus cos x. Now we still have minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I think this looks better, right? Now let's change... Or uh, let's uh, change the value of cos x to and call it another thing. Now we can choose t. Now we say let cos x equal to t. That means anywhere we see cos x, we replace it with what t. Okay? Now let's go. We have 2 cos square x. That is, this cos square x is having cos square. Okay? Now we replace it with what? 2 t square okay minus cos x is t okay minus one equal to zero all right good now let's see what we still have or what we still can do all right now we have a uh, two t square minus t minus one is equal to zero let's factorize this so in factorization, the coefficient of t square is what t multiplied by the constant, which is uh, c, and the value of c here is what minus one. So we have t times minus one will give you minus two. Two times minus one it will give you minus two. Okay. 2 times minus 1, I give you minus 2, okay? Now, let's go. We ask ourselves a question. What are the two numbers that when you add them together, it will give you 1, minus 1? Then when you multiply them, it will give you minus 2. Two numbers that when you add them together, it will give you minus 1. When you multiply them, it will give you minus 2. Now, the two numbers are 1 and 2. So when you say 1 minus 2, it will give you minus 1. And then when you say 1 times minus 2, it will give you minus 2. Okay, now let's use these two number and then replace the t above, okay? The minus t. Now we will have 2t squared plus we have t, okay? Minus 2t minus 1. When you say t minus 2t, what will it give you? It will give you minus t. Okay? Now, it's still the same. Now, we have 2t squared plus t minus 2t minus 1 equal to 0. Now, from here, we can, we can group this 2 by 2. Now, when we group them 2 by 2, we have 2t squared plus t. In bracket, minus 2t minus 1. In bracket, equal to 0. Okay? Now, let's factor out. Let's factorize. So, what can we factor out in 2t squared plus 1, uh, plus t? I mean, what do they have in common? Uh, you can see 2t squared plus t has t in common. Okay? There is t in 2t squared and there is t in t. Okay? Now, we'll factor out t. So when you factor out t in 2t square, you have 2t remaining. Then factor out t in t, you have 1. So that when you say t times 2t, it will give you 2t square. And then when you say t times 1, it will give you t. Okay? Now let's go to the second uh, bracket. We will have 2t minus 1. What do they have in common? We have They have minus 1 in common. So we factor out minus 1 in 2t. So we have 2t plus 1. So that when you say minus 1 times 2t is minus 2t. Minus 1 times plus 1 is minus 1. Okay? Equal to 0. Now let's go. We have uh, 2 bracket, and then the same thing is, is in 
eight. Okay. Now let's pick one and then pick the values outside the bracket. Okay. Now when we pick the values outside the bracket, we we'll have t minus one. You group it. That is in bracket. And then in the two bracket, let's pick one. We we'll have two t plus one equal to zero. Okay. Now we have t minus one equal to zero or 2t plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, let's go. We have t. Now, let's take minus 1 to the other side to be what? Equal to t. Minus going to the other side to be what? Positive. Then we have t is equal to 1. Or 2t is equal to minus 1. Okay? That is plus 1 going to the other side to be minus 1. Now, we are looking for t, not 2t. So, what we're going to do, we divide both sides by what? t. So, we have 2t divided by 2 is equal to minus 1 divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 give us what? 1. Now, we have t is equal to minus 1 all over 2. Okay? So, we end up having two values which are t is equal to 1 or t is equal to minus 1 all over 2. But you remember that we are just solving for the value of sine x. And then sine x, we replace it with what? With a letter called t. Okay? Now we'll say but cos x is equal to t. Now let's go. We say cos x is equal to 1. Abby, hope you understand this one now. That is the value of t that we just solved now. We say that t is the same as cos x. So instead of writing t now, we replace it with what? cos x, the original value or the original term that we are using to solve. Okay? So we have cos x is equal to 1 or cos x is equal to minus 1 all over 2. Okay? Now we have x. We are looking for cos, we are looking for x, not, not cos x. So, therefore, we have x is equal to cos inverse of 1. Please, if you don't understand what we did here, try and uh, watch our first tutorial on uh, uh, trigonometric equation, okay? So, I explained it in details. So, we are having x is equal to cos inverse of 1, or x is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 all over 2. So, x is equal to cos inverse of 1 is equal to 0 degree, or x is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 all over 2 is equal to 120 degree. So, therefore, we have solved the equation cos 2x is equal to cos x. And then the value we obtain, we say that x is equal to 0 degree or x is equal to 120 degree. Alright? Yes. Thank you very much. Please keep watching this and then subscribe if you have not. And make sure you are practicing them, alright? Thank you.